Oh, Carl. Oh, hello! I did not see you guys there. I'm Jacob Palacio. I'm sure a lot of you know who I am through my channel, A Lot of Times with Jacob. As a lot of you saw in one of my previous videos, I said that I was going to be making a lot of changes to this channel. And, um, well, um, as a lot of you probably didn't know, one of my very biggest passions is math. I am a huge math guy. It was always just something I was super passionate about. So. I figured I would make some math videos for you guys and just kind of show you, you know, how to do the math thing and then um, we'll just see where it goes from there. All right. So now I, uh, I, uh, I, I present to you a new addition, <laughs> although we won't be doing much addition in this video, to my channel Odd Times with Jacob called Odd Times with Jacob Math Corner. We're just going to go ahead and get started. So. What we're going to be doing here is something that I like to call substitution distribution. And what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to, I'm going to take this two, okay? And we got an X right there, right? And then we're going to uh, multiply that with 15 Y to three, six, seven. We'll go ahead and throw a C on that bad boy and we'll call that a day. This might look a little hard, but don't worry. So the, the two, the two is you're, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna um, divide the two on all three sides because that way you wanna you wanna get rid of this bad boy right here because they cancel each other out. But also you just want to put that guy somewhere else because we don't want that fucker here. So we're gonna put this x here and then we're gonna go ahead and multiply. Uh, we're gonna put 15 y and then remember when it, I did two. So two, and then we're gonna do three, six, seven, uh, two, and then we're not gonna forget that C. I didn't forget about him. Now, as you can see, the, as mentioned, this odd times with Jacob, we're gonna work with odd numbers today. Did I bring that up? Did I mention that we're doing odd numbers? Did, did I bring that up? Today, we're going to be, uh, we're gonna be multiplying odd numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we have two odd numbers right here. We got an even number right here. What the fuck do we do? Well, I'll tell you. We're just gonna turn this four, uh, 15 into a 14, and then we're gonna put that two down there. Three, six, six, not liking that too much. Gonna, m m or, yeah. And then the C we'll leave there. Didn't forget about the C. Now, if, if you do the um, division, we're gonna do uh, x times seven y. See now the numbers are getting, you know, and then we're going to do uh, uh, that'd be 183c. And this question's done. So we're gonna go ahead and erase this. And we're gonna move on to another question. I'm actually not gonna use this red marker anymore. I kind of want to use the green one just to change it up a little bit because we like to have fun around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, so back to substitution distribution. What you want to do in, in, in these certain cases of being stuck and not knowing like um, the proper way to solve it, the substitution and the, the, the distribution, it, the, it distributes the substitution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that and then we'll do a uh, actually that's not an odd number we don't we don't want fucking even numbers around here i keep forgetting that this is fucking odd times with jacob we're only gonna work with odd numbers so we're making this a 37 this is gonna be 37 so in 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 order to get rid of an odd number you have to divide it by you guessed it an odd number so we're gonna go ahead and put a five there we're gonna the this is gonna equate to we're gonna do a three seven twelve 12, that's 3,712 X minus Y in parentheses. We're going to have three X minus 17 plus 32 Y equals 17, three. And, um, we're going to multiply this to the 15. Yeah. Yep. That's it. All right. And then, so this, this looks like a doozy. It looks like a doozy. I know it, it looks intimidating as fuck, but bear with me. We're going to multiply the five because we want to get rid of that five. We're gonna mul we're gonna multiply this five and then to so this cancels out. We know that already. That's done. We don't have to worry about that anymore. So the you know I don't want to write this out. So I'm just going to erase that and then I mean this is a video so you can always rewind and go back if you want to you know. Th so now we have this problem here and what what I like to do in this situation, what I like to do in this situation is I like to cancel cancel these out. I, I want to make these smaller. I don't like big numbers, so we're we're gonna make that guy a one. We're gonna make that guy a three, and then we're gonna do thirty. Uh, no, yeah, right, yeah. So I'm just gonna erase this part because three y. Okay, so three y times one. That is just three y because anything that times is one just is it equals. 
to itself. Um, fucking high as shit. So what what did I write down? What was it? Uh, what the fuck was the number? It was uh, fi 15. No, we no. That's right. That's what we did. Okay. So the three the three Y three Y. Uh, yeah. And then um yeah. That's what it was. Okay. So <clears throat> now th this this is where it gets a little tricky. We need to solve these bad boys over here. We need to get these guys out of the way. So we're gonna. Bring this bad boy over here, so it's going to be 3x2. Um, this y, um, we're going to bring y. that all the way over here, so it'll be 3y, uh, 32y2. And then 3x2 uh, minus 17 plus 32y2. Um, we're going to go ahead and take the 32y. We're going to bring it over here to the 3x2. And I believe that is going to, uh, if we do that, we have to multiply. So 3 times 32, to, um, if I remember correctly, is 96. So 96 and then we're going to combine the x2 and the y2 since we brought this number over here to that number and then minus 17 um, so um, now so. this is you know again back you know back to what i was saying the so 96 is we're going to take this and then uh the you know just that cancel that out so now we're left with x2 y2 equals 17 96. we have two letters here all right we need, we need at least one of them. We're, we need to get rid of one of them. I want to get rid of the Y since I'm more fond of, I'm, I'm a next guy. I'm a next guy, I'm a next man. So 1796. Okay, so we have X2 equals 1796. Now there's two X's here. We want to take one of these X's and put them over here, all right? So we're gonna, that, that's, this is now X equals 17X96. Uh, and um, we actually don't want this x here, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply that over here and read that over here. So it'll be x2 equals 1796. I like it, it looks good, but I kinda also just wanna get rid of this x. And instead of putting it the 17, we'll do the 96. So this will be x equals 1796 x. And I actually do not want this x on this side because it's, we, we can't have any more x's. So we're gonna do x2, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of the fucking x. It's just gonna stick with one x for now. So x equals 1796 is going to be your final answer. Um, and that is how you do uh, substitution distribution. And what I like to do in these sort of, um, you know, when you're, deal when you're dealing with math, when, when, when you're dealing with math, your math is very different from English and science and history. We all know this. It's a very different subject from other school subjects. So that means usually typically a lot of people either like math or they don't because math is, you know, it, it's it, it's one subject that a lot of people would happen to have a lot of the opinions on, you know? So the, um, you know, obviously we're gonna get some division there. Um, yeah, we're gonna have some puns tonight, boys. Get ready. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this shit. Or erase all of it. Alright. That's good right there. That's- Oh, sh- uh, That's- No, I'll fucking erase it. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Alright, so, uh... I'm gonna make sure it's nice and clean for my next problem that I have for you guys. Alright, that's it. This is looking fucking great. That's looking good. God damn. All right. So it looks like we're just about there. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next question. All right, so this is a, a little problem that I want to show you guys. The, we're, we're, we're actually gonna work on, a, we're, we're gonna be doing some, uh, some we're, we're, again, we're working with odd numbers, but we're also going to be doing something a little bit different. Please do pay attention because this is going to be on the test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this uh, 22. So we have a 22, uh, we're gonna bring the C guy back. I just really like, C is one of my favorite letters. We're gonna, plus, we're gonna do some addition real quick. The 16 X minus 374 QP2 squared. And then we're going to equate this to the, first three digits of pi so is it three point so it, it somebody pointed this out but the 3.14 the first three numbers of pi if you if you do that and then you look in a mirror that shit says fucking pi that shit says pi it's it, i'm not making this shit up this is real legit shit that shit says pi if you anyways uh what was the three, first three letters of pi again? Yep, all right, so we're going to 
Now this is a tricky one. This is a fucking tricky one. This is a fucking tricky one. I think, I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna erase shit. I honestly don't even wanna fucking, I forget I, I, I'm just not feeling this one, I'm sorry. Let, let's do a different one. So we got 37X minus 24Q equals uh, in parentheses, uh, I already put 37, so we'll go ahead and put, uh, we'll put 9 uh, cubed divided by 1. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this 37, we're going to, uh, you know, again, get rid of the 37. Uh, X minus 24Q, 37. I said we were working with odd numbers. Um, I unfortunately, I only have uh, one odd number on the board, unless, you know, you're counting the cubed as an odd number, but fuck it. So X minus two, <coughs> X minus two, four, nine, 37 equals, now nine cubed, uh, to my knowledge is three. So uh, that's 37. Yes, so X minus two, four, nine, just gonna bring the problem over here, equals three divided by one, 37. Okay, and then uh, what was I doing? No, that was, that, this is part of the last problem. Ignore that, that's part of the last problem. That's my bad, my apologies. So, okay, so th this is obviously is one, or sorry, three. So X minus two, two, four, nine, three, seven, equals uh, a three, 37. And then we're, uh, we're going to uh, bring this up here because I'm running out of room. Um, X minus three, four, nine, 37, three, 37. Now it's important if you want to, um, you know, if, if you're using either the, the X and Y axis or, you know, the, um, the, the, um, the ch 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 quadratic formula, um, you, you just, you don't, you don't want to have to deal with, um, you know, the, you don't, you don't want to do that. So X minus three, four, nine, 37. Why am I writing this again? I don't fucking know. And then uh, 37, uh, okay, so uh, uh, this is actually our answer. Yeah? Yeah, wait. Yes, that's our answer. All right, moving on. Let me see some shit real quick. Now, I know a lot, math can be very intimidating. It can be very hard on people. Um, I, it just, my, my advice to you if, you, if you're getting discouraged by math, if you're getting a little intimidated by it, one thing that you wanna learn to do is rather than, you know, in school we often use our brain, right? That's, you know, the most, the pretty much the muscle that's doing the most work in the human body. So we're using our brain. You kind of want to put the, it's, it's, it's not what is about in the brain, it's about what's in the heart. And I think if you really follow your heart and look into it, then you will know how to, you know, you will know how to do good math problems and you'll, you're, you, you will, it will, it'll be solved. You'll be, you'll be good. You'll be good. And then, um, you'll, uh, it, it, once it leads into your heart, it starts, it, it comes out more personally you know, more spiritually that way, as opposed to the brain where, yeah, there's a lot of thinking, a lot of logic and stuff, but right here is where it matters. You always follow your heart. You always follow your heart. I remember my grandpa once told me once he fought Vietnam that he, he, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. He, he stated that um, the, the one thing that he wished he did when he fought in Vietnam was that he used his heart more. Um, sure enough, you know, he, he did get shot and the bullet, you know, that's a true story. That's a true story. We're gonna change up the colors a little bit. And um, what the fuck did I do with the blue marker? I literally, I just had the blue marker. Where the, f that's black, green, red, black. Why is there two fucking blacks and not a blue? Where, it was in my fucking pocket. Um, all right, so we're gonna take two, uh, two, 26 X minus, Three, no, actually, we'll, we'll do this one. We'll do this one. We're, we'll, we'll go a little simple. I'm sure this math is, you know, it's, trust me, this took me years to learn. It took me so long to learn. So I understand if you're feeling a little intimidated by what I'm showing you, I, it's, you just, you have, it, it takes time to get it, you know? It's not everybody gets it on, you know, their first try. It, like, it, it's, it, it takes a little bit getting used to. So I understand if you're feeling a little bit intimidated. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little bit smaller. I'm gonna work with smaller numbers. As I mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of big numbers myself. I'm much more of a small number guy. It's not the size that matters. So we're going to take a five plus three minus 18 uh, divided by four, and that's gonna equal 28. 
So this is just a very simple, easy problem. So we have 18 minus, or uh, sorry. So the, yeah, so eight, this is eight minus 18 divided by four. This is, that was, I said that was a 28, right? Yeah, 28. This is negative 10 divided by four equals 28. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cancel this bad boy out. So we got four. Get that fucker out of here, that's a one. And then we're gonna make it 28, uh, negative 10. And then, uh, yep, that's it, cool. This is a cat. Last but not least, I kind of want to um, work on a little bit of uh, addition with the power of 11. So that, with that being said, the two, so very simple problem here. We, uh, we got, uh, this is a, uh, um, uh, this, we, there's a, there's, is there any water in here? There's no fucking water in here? Oh shit. Two equals eleven two. Um, eleven. Uh, 